This summer, high-stakes poker player Lazaro Hernandez got 15 years in federal prison for a whole other game. His counterfeiting ring collected tens of thousands of bottles of HIV medicine from patients and used licensed wholesalers in multiple states to sell them back to U.S. pharmacies and at a discount, but illegally. Repackagers working for Hernandez cleaned and resold sealed bottles of HIV medicines. Criminals commonly remove pharmacy and patient labels by dipping the bottle in solvents, such as lighter fluid. They also cleaned empty medicine bottles and filled them with whatever they had and then resealed them like new. HIV patients who needed real medicine to stay alive may have received expired drugs dipped in lighter fluid. One patient reported that he took a pill before realizing it smelled like paint. Others received sealed bottles that contained the wrong medicine, antipsychotics, over-the-counter painkillers, and in one case, even pebbles. A lot of what we know about this ring comes from Gilead Sciences, which filed a lawsuit against hundreds of people involved in 2021. Their anti-counterfeiting team and their outside counsel at Patterson Belknap provided information that helped federal prosecutors build a criminal case against Hernandez. We don't often think about these anti-counterfeiting teams, but they monitor international markets for counterfeiters and collect evidence through undercover purchases and product testing. And they protect patients by protecting the integrity of our medicines. Always report to the manufacturer anything you find suspicious about your medicine. You can find phone numbers for complaints and for reporting medical adverse events on their websites and in the product inserts. In the meantime, keep up with cases like these and even read the court filings at our website, safemedicines.org.